Beginning in 2012, the United Soybean Board and the Mid-South Soybean Board funded a large regional project to evaluate the response of maturity group three through six soybean cultivars planted at a wide range of planting dates throughout the Mid-South. All total, we had 10 different locations, three years of data, four maturity groups, four cultivars within each maturity group uh, with four different planting dates. Results from this experiment were used to calibrate a crop simulation tool called CropGrow. Uh, the, the simulations capture the results from, uh, of the planting date, the environment, and different maturity group effects. The results from the calibrated model were then used to apply uh, crop simulated yields to 30 years of weather data throughout the Mid-South at 11 different locations ranging from College Station, Texas to Columbia, Missouri. The simulated yields over these 30 years and 14 planting, date, 14 planting dates amounted to about 74,000 different individual simulations. These simulated results were then used to create a crop decision support tool that we call SoyMap. So SoyMap is a spreadsheet-based decision support tool that sifts through the 74,000 records that Larry mentioned earlier. On the very first screen after you enable content, you get to select a location. You have 11 locations to choose from. We're going to talk about Mariana, Arkansas. And then you get to choose among two soil textures, silt loam or clay soils that have different uh, irrigation water deficits, planting week, and then a choice of two maturity groups to compare. To help you with making the planting date choice, there's a yield and planting date comparison button and that starts the process of looking for information. After about 15 seconds you get these three graphs that show that the maturity groups 3 outperform the maturity group 5 soybean early in the season through the end of April and then the opposite happens afterwards. The little error bars on there show the likelihood of meeting that yield potential across a number of years. Not surprisingly, at the bottom graph, it says that the maturity group 5s are later maturing uh, soybean require more irrigation water than the maturity group 3s. The error bars are not there because they're quite large. On the left-hand side, you see the yield comparison between those two maturity groups for May 23 to 31 planting week in Mariana, Arkansas. And you see that the 3s typically yield less than the 5s. And you see a range of observations over the 30-year simulated yield history. Usually you want to look at the slope of that line and also the relative position of that line and the box below gives you indications about how to analyze that information. So it looks here that if we're planning in, uh, in middle to late May that uh, the fives probably are going to dominate in terms of yield compared to the threes, but it's question whether the irrigation cost savings associated with the threes might outweigh uh, the fives uh, when it comes to profitability. So when you get back to the first screen and you're happy with that planning date and the maturity group comparison that you're making, you can click on the next button and the next button moves you now to this information screen that gives you information about whether there's a likelihood of frost and then also a tabular formulation about meeting a yield level of 30 bushel an acre and exceeding 60 bushel per acre. It's also presented in a box plot and so you can see same as in the graph before that the fives do better than the threes in terms of yield. The next button allows you to see the day of flowering, the date of beginning seed fill and the earliest harvest date again for maturity group threes and fives. Pushing on the next button you see the irrigation. The irrigation is the actual soil water deficit that we observe. Now we have the error bars on there and then we have an explanation that that needs to be adjusted for irrigation efficiency because you can either use center pivot irrigation or flood irrigation as a later option. Pushing the next button gets you the economics information. You can choose among several uh, well depth for your irrigation system anywhere from 50 foot deep to 300 foot deep. Then you can choose whether you uh, use diesel or electric as a power source for your irrigation pump then you get to specify a price for diesel or for electricity depending on what you chose and the irrigation type for a flood or center pivot. The machine then calculates 
a, uh, a cost per acre inch, and it's just the cash cost associated with lifting the water, it's meaning the energy cost. And you can calculate your own costs, because you might have different efficiency expectations and so on. And there's a little calculator button that allows you to, uh, uh, to do some simple calculations. Next, you have to choose among different types of markets that you want to go ahead and find the seasonal price pattern to make comparisons between early planet and late planet soybean. We're in Mariana, Arkansas. The closest location is Old Town, Arkansas. And we can go and look at the seasonal index button and see a graphical representation of a seasonal index. And we find here that the early maturity group soybean are harvested earlier in week 37 and they have a slight price premium compared to the fives. The fives on the other hand as seen by that error bar tend to be uh, less risky in terms of price risk but also at the seasonal discount compared to the annual average price. That annual average price is up to the user to select from year to year. So for this year I've chosen seven dollars per bushel and that's just a stab in the dark. Below the uh, seasonally adjusted price expectation which is slightly higher for the threes we see the price range and then below that we see what our revenue potential is. That revenue potential is basically yield times price minus the, uh, the irrigation costs and so that's what economists call partial returns and we see that the fives do better than the threes so the irrigation cost savings with the threes are not enough to offset the, uh, the yield, the, the, yield uh, the relatively lower yield. The next screen then gets into sensitivity analysis basically says how much can these prices change relative amongst each other between the threes and fives depending on harvest season quality and a number of other things and that gives you an indication of how robust your analysis is. Uh, the second line says well your irrigation cost would have to in this case increase to twelve dollars per acre inch for the threes to have enough irrigation cost savings to offset the yield difference for the fives. You have other costs seed, fertilizer, chemicals, fuel, labor, so on and so forth you get again another drop down menu to choose from three hundred to five hundred dollars per acre you can select what your operation specific costs are and you can add a profit margin to that so we might change that to five hundred dollars per acre and now we see in bold red there's no chance of getting that much profit at seven dollars seven dollar beans but at four hundred twenty five dollar other expenses there's a thirty three percent chance that you're going to meet that profit target with the MG3s and there's an 83% chance with the MG5s. So the MG5s again do better as we might expect. But they're not going to do better every year. And that's what that last line is about, making annual comparisons. So there's a 10% chance that the threes can out yield or out profit, in this case, the maturity group fives uh, over the course of that 30 year history. You can print a summary of all this information with the print button and you can also go to this other comparisons page which basically summarizes the economics we talked about in both a graph and a tabular format and you can print that screen as well. When you're done and happy with the comparison that you want to make you can print this stuff and you can hit the stop and save button and it'll save the spreadsheet to the location where you downloaded it from the internet. Then you can open it again and the next time maybe do another comparison and do a stop and save again. So in sum, SoyMap is a spreadsheet based decision support tool that allows you to make comparisons on the basis of 74,000 simulated performance records for soybeans across 11 locations, 14 planting dates, two soil textures, and 10 or 11 choices of maturity groups.